Hello, Slam Lakeum, and welcome back. Today, we are going to talk about fear. Um, fear, fear, fear. So, chances are, if you're afraid of something, it looks like you're probably about to embark on something that is unfamiliar territory. And fear can be very crippling, um, and allowing that to creep in and stay there is going to stagnate you. I think that it's healthy um, and normal to have a certain level of fear when it comes to doing something, especially something new. But there is also a lot in getting past that and accomplishing something in spite of your fears. Um, there, there's not really anything that I could say to you like, oh, here's this hack or here's this trick. If you're scared, you're scared. And that's what it's just going to be. However, if you allow yourself to just kind of walk through that, because you kind of need to ask yourself too, like, what is it that you're really afraid of? That's, I think, the key thing. Like, what is the worst that could happen? Because if you kind of ask yourself that, like, on a serious note, then you can really come to the conclusion that it's not the end of the world. Um, it is easier said than done, but for example, if it is that you want to start a business and you're afraid to do that, why are you afraid? What is the worst thing that can happen? Is it that people will make fun of you for trying? Is it that um, nobody will buy whatever it is that you're selling? Is it that you may have to close when you didn't want to? Um, is it that you think that you won't be as successful as you would like to be? All of these things can be worked around. So what is it at the root of it that you're actually afraid of? Once you ask yourself that and you legitimately understand, what is it? What am I afraid of? What do I think is going to happen? One of my fears um, was failing. And it's in the aspect of the embarrassment that comes along with trying to do something and then failing. But then I had to ask myself, like, why would I be embarrassed if I failed? You know what I'm saying? Because at least I tried. Like, there are a million people in the world who want to do something. And they just walk around always wanting to do something and always wondering what would happen if, you know? And then it goes so long that now they're looking behind them, saying what would have happened if I would have. And I think that I would be more afraid to wake up one day and have that regret because now so much time has passed to where I can't even do this thing now even if I wanted to. You know, there are different things that happen in life, different circumstances that will allow you to be primed for something at this point. And then at that point, it's like, it's just definitely not doable. So if you have the opportunity, you should move forward with whatever it is that you're trying to do as long as it's safe and um, it's not gonna harm you in any way you should at least give yourself a shot, you know, because what is the worst that could happen? Even if you did fail, you learned something. Maybe it wasn't the best thing for you. Maybe it wasn't a good fit. Maybe you didn't like it as much as you thought you would. Or maybe you made some poor decisions, and that's fine too. It's a learning process. When you make those poor decisions, either you're going to hurry up and figure out how to fix it in time to stay afloat, or you're not. But if you don't, now you have all of that knowledge and you can step back into it from a different perspective when you're ready. So failure is not always the worst thing in the world. Um, and if it's the embarrassment, again, who, who are you embarrassed in front of? A bunch of people who are still wondering what would happen if they would have tried? I mean, if you really think about it, they're the ones who are missing out. They're the ones who have to walk around with that regret. Regret is very heavy, okay? I would rather fail at something and know that I tried and that it just didn't work out for whatever reason then to always be wondering if I would have tried would it have worked out because like I said now even if you did fail you have all the information you need to come back a million times stronger so get to the root of whatever it is that you are actually afraid of and then ask yourself what is the worst thing that can happen and if it's not that bad try to get through those nerves find a way to get through those nerves one of the things that I use to help me get through mine is meditation. Um, so that's a wonderful tool to just kind of quiet your mind. If you have a certain level of anxiety, um, prayer helps. Um, but just kind of getting out of your head and getting into a space where you're not thinking of all the things that could go wrong. 
you know, shift your mindset. Think of what happens if I'm successful. What happens if I do it right, you know? All of the reasons why you want to go into it in the first place. What if you get all of those things? What if that happens for you? That's better, right? And if you keep your eyes on that, you're more in line to be walking towards that thing than the failure. If, if all you have in your mind is negativity and I'm going to fail, this is never going to work out, why would anything good come from it? You're speaking into existence what's going to happen. And I do believe in a certain level of manifestation, right? And it's not because I think that if you think hard enough, something's just going to appear. But I do believe that the mind is very powerful. Whatever you think, you're going to speak. And what you speak, you act on. So if you're constantly thinking about everything that's going to go wrong, that's what you're going to see in front of you. But if you're thinking about all the things that could go right, what could happen, you're going to be eyeballing and looking out and seeing those different opportunities as they come up. And you're going to be able to grab them and react to them. And you'll be more in a state of mind to do that. So you have to get out of the concept of fear and negativity and think, think happy thoughts, <laughs> think positive, think about what it is that you want to manifest. What is it that you're trying to create in front of you and then how, and then walk towards that one step at a time and do whatever you need to do to get yourself into that right state of mind. Um, and if you're wondering about meditation or other things that you may be able to do to help you do that, then just let me know. And I'll try to figure out um, how to word that to help you to maybe get to that place as well. But we have to find a way to take that fear and just get rid of it, right? Stop making it up here, bring it right down here and get rid of it. So again, what's the worst that could happen? And what's the best that could happen? Let's look at the best. All right, so I'm like, oh.